Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Tapas or Ustam 2 is DRDO's attempt to completely develop a male UAV indigenously. In 2023 the UAV program has achieved many important milestones. On 27 June 2023 Tapas demonstrated 200th flight to tri services team. On 16th June 2023 Tapas has shown another remarkable capability. The UAV took off at 7:35 hours from ATR Chitradurga, which is 25 kilometers from Karwad Naval Base. One ground control station and two ship data terminal were installed in INS Subhadra for controlling the UAV. During the trial, Tapas performed the flying of around altitude of 20,000 feet above the mean sea level. During its flight operation, Tapas has successfully demonstrated the transfer of command and control from the ground control station to INS Subhadra, which was stationed 148 kilometers away from the Karwar naval base. The INS Subhadra then controlled the UAV operation for 40 minutes during its 3 hour 30 minutes of flight duration. After the trial, Tapas landed back at the ATR. The entire operation has demonstrated Tapas capability as male UAV which can not only be used for land surveillance but also for performing the ISR missions in oceans and sea where it can be controlled by Indian Navy warships with ship data terminal installed. In March 2022 Tapas had successfully demonstrated the flight altitude of 20000 feet and endurance of 18 hours. However, the report suggests that Tapas is still short of armed forces requirement. Various report indicates that target set for UAV was to achieve the operating altitude of 30000 feet and endurance of 24 hours. After the various trials performed in the first half of 2023, the Tapas was to enter into user trial. The defense journalist Anand Krishnan has reported via X that as per reliable source the Tapas program has been closed in mission mode as it fell short of the PSQR set by users the government has given go ahead for development of this mail UAV under separate DRDO funds AD has been told to meet the main specifications set by the users which is endurance of 24 hours and flight altitude of 30000 feet AD must get back after achieving these two targets so the question is what will be the future of indian uav development program with tapas being on hold so from what it seems that india's uav program has been rebooted with tapas program on hold it seems that the focus is now shifting towards archer ng tapas could not meet the exact requirement of armed forces due to its airframe limitations Therefore DRDO has started another UAV development program which is Archer NG. Tapas can still be very useful and has a decent endurance and flight attitude. Many technologies which were developed as a part of this program will help DRDO in developing the new RPs. Via Tapas DRDO has already proven the capabilities such as automatic landing and takeoff using Gagan for satellite navigation, satcom and data link to name a few. So DRDO is developing a completely new airframe design for the Archer NG. It is going to be a single engine twin boom SETB UAV designed to perform the ISTAR as well as strike missions. It will have the line of sight range of 250 km and beyond line of sight range of 1000 km. It can operate up to an altitude of 30000 feet with endurance of more than 18 hours. The Archer NG will be able to carry 300 kilograms of weapons payload, which will include smart anti-air field weapon and anti-tank guided missiles. It will be integrated with Satcom and will carry the EO SAR or electronic warfare payloads. The fabrication of the prototype of the UAV has already been undergoing in 2023, and its maiden flight trial was expected somewhere in 2023. However, there is no concrete update on this. Besides Archer NG DRD is also working on short range weaponized UAV or SR UAV. This UAV is designed to perform near real time high quality imagery and signals intelligence with light attack capability. 
it could possibly carry two anti-tank guided missiles. The UAV will have flight altitude of 22,000 feet with an endurance of 12 hours and range of 250 kilometers in line of sight. At present, the UAV is under validation phase of upgraded avionics architecture through flight trials and release of anti-tank guided missiles. This UAV is in quite advanced stage from, of its development. However, there is no concrete update on its progress, which has been shared by DRDO. So, it will be interesting to see what future holds for India's indigenous UAV development program when armed forces are already in process of inducting American MQ-9Bs and Israel's Huron and Hermes RPs. DRDO will have to up its game in development of Archer NG as Rustam or Tapas program has not yet fielded any operational UAV, though the learning and technology development has been quite significant. So all eyes will be on Archer NG program to meet the Indian Armed Forces PSQR requirement. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.